Thank you, Lloyd, for engaging with the Business of Trust programme. We really appreciate it. Can I, my first question I'm going to ask you is in relation to the five civic principles. I'm keen to, to get your views as to which of those of five resonates most strongly for you and with you, and for what particular reason? The one that really sort of shouts out to me, which is the sort of very foundation of everything that you would hope to achieve and, uh, with trust, is integrity. I mean, without integrity, you have nothing. Lloyd, are there any particular anecdotes that you might bring to bear with regard to trust, comparing good and bad? when we sponsored the Australian cricket team back in 2003 um, and I was actually in South Africa for the, for the World Cup uh, then and uh, we were at the uh, quarter-final uh, and Australia was playing Sri Lanka and Adam Gilchrist who I became quite close to was batting and the ball was bowled and he went to hit it and it was caught everyone shouted out um, and the umpire ruled not out because he had concluded that the ball had not touched his bat. Whereupon, famously, Adam turned and walked because he knew the ball had touched his bat. And it was an incredible display of sporting integrity. We were talking about integrity before. Uh, and contrast with the, you know, the, the controversy that we've seen in recent weeks. But I think as a, not just a display of sporting integrity but as a behavioural message to you know, millions of sports fans and young people to see how a sort of sporting legend cricketing hero like Adam Gilchrist behaved in that instant of a moment I think is very powerful. Maybe then take that on to the next level as you're aware we've, we've encouraged the leaders of tomorrow community to come up with some ideas some recommendations in which resonated with you and for what particular reason? You know, I've seen organisations in the best of times, I've seen organisations in the worst of times. And cultures, I believe, in any organisation uh, are absolutely the sort of DNA uh, of everything you would hope to achieve uh, in the organisation. And setting that culture, coming to that point, how critical is the sort of tone from the top and the leadership? Within any organisation, I think it's a very, often think it's a very tribal thing. People want to be part of something they feel proud of, belonging to. They want to be led by captains of their teams who, whatever titles you give them, these captains need to earn and win the respect of the people who work for them, and they want to be winners. Um, my third question is really just beyond that, to say that if there was a single silver bullet and it, on this incredibly complex um, story and agenda around trust and trustworthiness, um, that you would recommend any youngster or, or any individual that the, from the communities that, that, uh, with which you engage. What would that recommendation be? I think a young person should, should make their decisions with conviction. They may not always get it right. None of us get it all right all the time. But recognising the integrity of the decision, the principles that somebody applied when they took that decision or behaved in a particular way, uh, you know, be true to yourself, do it because you thought that was the best thing to do at that time. And my final question um, is a binary one, a yes or a no. Uh, the civic principles that we've been discussing uh, this morning, can they support the development of trust and trustworthiness, better business trusted by society? Look, I mean, yeah, the short three letter answer is yes. But as I look at those civic principles, uh, the word that sort of came out to me as I read them all was the word care. And I think if, as an organisation and as a leader at whatever level, if you demonstrate that you care about your employees, about your colleagues, about your customers, about your community, about your country, I think, again, coming back to culture and setting the tone, if you care and people see you care, you know, the world is yours. Care, that is a, a very strong recommendation we will take forward as part of the business of trust. Lloyd Dor Dorfman, entrepreneur, philanthropist, chairman of Princess Trust, thank you very much for engaging in the business of trust.